welcome back. This is my journey of marathon training for the third time. Um, this time I've decided to record it and put it onto this YouTube channel. So I really hope you enjoy this week's video. I have put a hard week of training in and haven't missed any runs. Things have been going good. So the plan I got from my coach this week is Monday, 7 mile easy. Tuesday, free. Wednesday, 7 mile easy. Thursday, 2 times 4 mile tempo. That's a progressive tempo, 4 miles at 7.25, 7.20, 7.15 and 7.10. Then a half mile float in 4 minutes 30 and then repeat again. So 8.5 miles in total along with a warm up and a cool down. On Friday I have 6 mile easy, Saturday's free and Sunday is 21 miles. 7 miles at 8 minute mile pace, 7 miles at 7.55 and then a final 7 miles at 7.50 pace. So Monday went well, I actually met a friend and we ran 10 mile easy. We just set out to go for a run together and ended up running a few miles extra which was really good. I ran that about 8.40 pace and I was really tired. I had been up all night with, not all night, but I had been up quite a bit with the kids and I did notice a bit of fatigue in that run but I got it done and it felt really good and quite smooth. So that was Monday. On Tuesday I went to the gym, done, done some rowing, I ran a couple of miles in the treadmill and then lifted some weights. I actually went a wee bit heavier on the weights this week but starting to feel good in the gym. That night I ran another five miles with my dog. I ran that easy so that was 9.17 pace and did stop a couple of times but it was a really nice run getting out with the dog that evening. And the next day I done my tempo run. So I brought everything forward a day because I had a job on Friday and I needed a, I needed Friday to be a spare day. So on Wednesday I done a tempo run. That was the two times uh, four miles progressive. So going from 7.25 to 7.10. Half mile float in between. That run, that run was absolutely Soaking, it was so heavy rain. I had the camera with me that day, so I'll just explain. Hello, I have just finished warm up. Um, today is Wednesday session day, it's a tempo session, so two times four miles with a half mile float in between. The four miles. The four miles will be, sorry if the audio isn't good, it's actually super windy. I stopped there just to do this video uh, and I think this hedge is protecting me from the wind slightly but anyway two times four miles, each of the four miles is set first mile 720 pace, 715, or sorry 725 then the next mile 720, 715, 710. Half mile float and then do it all again. So, eight and a half mile in total of a session. I have just done two mile warm up and I'm ready to go. As I said, it's really windy, but um, I can't really do anything about that. Especially on race day, it's Northern Ireland and who knows what we'll get on the 30th of April. It could be raining, it could be snowing, it could be really warm. Who knows? It's time to get a session done. I'll, I'll stop in with you just after I finish. I'm sure you can't hear me too well, but it's super windy. I've just finished the first four miles, the four mile tempo. I'm on half a mile float, and then another four miles to do. It's so windy. I'm hoping the next four miles is... I hope the wind's behind me because that was just torture. Trying to make those times running into the wind. Oh. Anyway, another wee bit to recover. Quarter of a mile and then I'm off again. See you at the end.
Banjoed. Okay, so that's that done. Um, I'll not analyze it now. I'll just have to have to go and get a shower. Go get these clothes, but like, oh, that was tough running. Um, I don't know what winds that was, but it was really windy. Um, I, oh, it was enjoyable, but tough. The wind was only on my back the last mile and a half um, coming back in. Otherwise, the wind was in my face the whole time. So, but, but all good. Off to get a shower. So, as you can see, that was a very wet day. It was really hard to run in because of the strong winds. But I got there. That was a good session done. That's one ticked off. And that's the sort of sessions I need to be really nailing because they're pushing, pushing my fitness forward. The more time spent running at that faster pace, I think the better. Like I've I've took so much advice about running easy and I I just don't, it doesn't work with me. I, I just, running easy made, made me lazy, if, if that makes sense. And it didn't help the faster um, miles. So I, I really feel the longer spent with the legs turning faster really helps me. And if I want to be running a sub 3.30 marathon, then I need to be getting used to running, uh, well I want to, I don't want to just break the 3.30, I really want to smash it, so I would love to go out there at 7.40 pace, um, that's kind of the, the A goal, 7.40 pace and stick it, so I really need to be um, getting the legs moving a bit faster. So that evening I actually went out for another run, I dropped my son off, um, he was getting tutored and had an already spare, so I went a small run just up the road and back down again, I think I'd done 4 miles, nice and easy. Um, 8.45 per mile pace, I actually felt a bit fatigued, isn't it any wonder I felt fatigued but I did that night and um, I think I could have done with more food to be honest. So the next day I went out on tired legs and I ran 4 miles again, 9.08 pace, nice and easy. I then went to the gym and I done more strength work so that was the second time this week that I got to the gym. I done in fact, on Tuesday when I went to the gym, I'd done a load of squats. Basically done my legs and my abs and uh, a wee bit of back work. And then on Thursday when I went to the gym, I'd done chest and arms and shoulders. Pushing it a wee bit more in the gym this week. So I had a job on Friday, which meant I wouldn't have had any time to go out for a run. I had planned to take that off, which I did. So Friday was a long day at work. I was photographing a wedding um, probably about two hours away from my home so I was away early morning and not back to late at night so it was a very tiresome day. So the next day, Saturday morning, I got up and I just knew I was getting the cold. At the wedding the day before I stood out in the rain for ages and that was just the start of me getting bogged down with the cold. I just really thought, you know, I'll, I'll take another rest day. I've already done plenty of miles. I think I had run 40 miles between Monday and Thursday and I had a long run of 21 miles planned for Sunday so I was still getting a 60 mile week so I took Saturday off as well and then today which is Sunday I went out this morning and done my long run so I was actually really happy to get this long run done it was super super good and important to get it finished 21 miles 7 miles at 8 minute mile pace 7 miles at 7.55 and 7 miles at 7.50. Now I ran continuously. I did put two water bottles out on route. I had a route between kind of where I parked my car. There's a there, there's a there's a road um, pretty flat actually. The reason why I done it on flatter ground this time was just simply because I had the cold and I wanted a, a route that I could that I knew was seven miles out and back and I could put water bottles along the way. I had a gel every four miles and water. I drank as much water as I could. Gone great. I actually felt super strong the whole time, even though I was down with the cold. When I say down with the cold, like I was pretty heavy. I drank loads of water, and my gel as every four hours and felt great on the run. What was good about this is, if I look at the data on my phone here, I had like the first seven miles, your eight minute mile pace, and my heart rate was 40, 149, 150, 148, 149, um, 151, so that was super good. Then I had a, um, then I had seven miles at 
105 pace and my heart rate moved up to about 152, 154, 154 for the next mile, 151 which was good and then the last 7 miles which were a bit faster, 750 pace my heart rate went up to 156 and then 157 back down to 154 when I was going down a bit of a hill but like this is this is big for me so it is because like I have I have literally just ran 21 miles at a pace I haven't been used to like just just six months ago I tried to do a 3.30 marathon at Dublin and went out at 8 minute mile pace and crashed it was just too much for me I was running just under 8 minute mile pace and my heart rate was in the 170s and like now I'm doing similar pace and my heart rate is in low 150s so that is a real real bonus saying that on this marathon and I will get into this in another video I'm going to switch the heart rate off on my on my watch in fact I already have I just find I look at it far too much so um, really happy with today's long run really happy with this week's running only problem is um, obviously got the cold and I hope that doesn't develop too much but great great week's training 62 miles in total it's the biggest week I've ever done I'm really happy with that um, I hope you've enjoyed this week's video I and also hope that next week's running goes just as good I have to do I've, I plan to do about 60 miles next week as well I'm not sure how that's going to go because I do feel pretty rough right now I really hope that it goes good. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. But thanks for watching and I will see you soon.